G'day there, YouTubers. Today's a very special day. I guess I have to make a declaration. I have to say that the funk is over. I hopped on the scars this morning and I was... Celebrations, 99.9 .9 kilograms. It's 220 pounds for those of you who don't understand kilograms. But 99.9 .9 kilograms means I am no longer three digits. I am now two digits. 99 point. It's only two digits before that decimal point. Seems like a small thing, but wow. So, um, yeah, when I saw that this morning, I had a little dance. Yep. I uh, waltzed into my wife. My wife was still in bed, so I hopped on the scales and I walked, went straight back into the bedroom. Did a little dance for her. Did a little jiggle. And she was very impressed. And... Um, Went and woke up the kids, yelled at them all, grabbed their legs, dragged them out of bed, and said, guess what? Dad's under 100 kilos. They were all, you know, they weren't as impressed as I was. But anyway, I, it, was, it was great. It was, it was great. I was very, 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 very happy. Um, it's the 1st of December, and um, we went to church this morning, and uh, I got about like a dozen compliments. I wasn't fishing for them, wasn't, I didn't tell any, everybody that I was, you know, doing well or anything. I just turned up. We have a um, espresso machine at uh, church, you know, big proper industrial one, and I'm the barista. So um, I got there and was making people cups of coffee and everybody's saying, wow, you're looking terrific. Gee, you look fit, you look well. I'm going, thank you, thank you. So, uh, yeah, very happy, yeah. Um, over the moon. So um, I thought there was one or two things that I wanted to, to talk about today. And the first thing that I want to say is why you should have a VSG. Right? So if you're one of these people that's looking at this video, maybe you're a bloke and you're looking for other blokes that have gone through this procedure and, and you're thinking, is this for me? Okay. I started four months ago. I guess my progress has been a little slower than some of the other people. Um, but I've, as I've said a number of times, it's not a race. And um, I didn't choose to have the VSG surgery um, because it was the fastest means of losing weight. I chose because it was the most, for me, I felt, the most permanent way um, to lose weight. And that's really been proven um, in these last two weeks for me. Um, in case you hadn't seen uh, my last two videos, my last two videos, I've been I've been a bit out of sorts. I've been a bit low and um, under a lot of pressure at work, and um, I've been struggling. Typically, in times like that, um, food has been my um, my little sanctuary. You know, I'd disappear into a into a room full of food and just eat, and I would be happy again. Um, now that I've had the VSG. Um, that's limited. Uh, yeah, I did eat more. I had more calories than what I am supposed to have. Um, I was trying to reward myself with food, but I just couldn't couldn't eat as much as I, I did before. And um, I feel like it's just given me a bit of victory over my own personal issues with food. Um, let's face it, the reason that we're overweight, well, for me anyway, was I'm, I was addicted, uh, addicted to the wrong kinds of food and uh, emotional eating, um, which is not good. Um, so, but I just feel like I've had some real victories there. So, um, I um, in the last two weeks, I, I, I put a, a, a kilo back on at one point. Um, but then even with um, things being difficult, um, I didn't go any more than that. Like in the past, if I, if I went through a time like that, I might have put on four kilos or something stupid. Um, but um, no such issues. Um, went out yesterday. We had a celebration. Had a bit of a, a, a family uh, get together, friends. Um, we went out to to lunch out at the Como Hotel, which was just beautiful. And um, uh, went through, looked at the menu, and there was. Pretty much was a lot of um, you know deep fried stuff, you know, um, chicken schnitzel and heaps of fries and all of that sort of thing. So I was looking for the healthiest option. I chose sashimi on the on the menu, but then uh, when we went to water, found out that that was uh, not available. They were uh, 
how to how to stock on that. So I ended up getting an entree serve of soft shell crab on a bed of rocket lettuce, and um, that was fantastic. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it, but it did take me about an hour and a quarter to uh, finish the plate, and that was an entree size. Um, I must say it was a pretty generous entree size. Um, if you can hear the family upstairs, uh, they're, yep, they're up there. Well, they're chasing the kids. Jen's chasing the kids. Um, it's my wife Jenny upstairs. She's there having fun with the kids as per usual. It's a glorious day, and um, I'm having a good time. So anyway, yeah, I was saying I uh, I had the uh, the soft shell crab and and uh, I really enjoyed that, and I had a glass of beer, and um, yeah, it took me a an hour and, and some to, to get through that, but um, it was a really lovely time. Um, this morning, I um, yeah, I hopped on the on the scales and I thought, mm, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but 99.9 um, .9 came up. I felt like I felt like I was playing the pokies, you know, ka ching ka ching and <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> it was great. Um, I was very 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 happy. Um, what else did I want to say? I was talking about why you should have a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, well, for me, it's been a good choice. Okay. Um, the truth is, I can eat anything that I like. Um, I really don't have any issue. I can eat sweets. I can eat savory. I can eat um, bread. And I can eat anything I, I, that I want. Really, just have to chew it well. Um, so there's no real issues with what I can eat. Um, it's just the quantity, and um, but that's that's all good. Um, come over here, Kate. Come over here. Come and say hello to all my YouTube friends. Hello. Yeah, this is my daughter, Kate. I'm just telling them that I cracked a hundred kilos today. Yeah. What did I do to you this morning? You jumped on me and like hit me and <laughs> not fun. Just. Well, that's what a father's supposed to do, isn't it? I don't think it's quite meant to like sit on me because you're still ninety nine point nine kilos, <laughs> and then it's still a lot. Okay, uh, well we're um. I'm not no, we're doing... anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um. Uh, distractions. I uh, can't even remember what I was talking about. Why you should have a um uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. You can eat whatever you want. Um, it will help you to overcome your own personal issues with food. Um, it's permanent. Um, you don't need to go in. It's low maintenance. Uh, I think in some ways, like there's been a bit of discussion. I heard uh, the Fat King's boys were, were talking about, um, uh, and particularly TJ. I think he was he was talking about um, the RNY uh, being the superior surgery for. Um, for uh, weight loss, um, and I probably agree with that. Um, it, like, if all you're wanting is just weight loss and you don't care about um, the issues that accompany that, um, you know, you lose more weight with uh, with the RNY um, gastric bypass. But um, and I think that for some people that that's a really good option, and particularly if you're struggling, like if you've got diabetes and if you're, um, you know, very very big, um, that's probably a really good good choice. Um, for me, I was not massive. I, you know, I was big, um, hence the name Big Vigil, but um, I wasn't what you'd call super morbidly obese or anything like that. You know, I I only had uh, about forty kilos, forty forty to forty five kilos that I needed to lose. Uh, which is what a hundred pounds, something like that. So if you've got more than a hundred pounds to lose, then maybe the RNY is something to consider. But um, if it's under that, I, I personally think the the gastric sleeve is is the way to go. Um, for me, uh, my lifestyle has changed significantly. Um, I am now a lot more conscious of what I'm eating and um, try to uh, put effort into planning what I'm what I'm eating more. Um, like I said, the last few weeks I really actually fell off the wagon, was, was eating whatever I wanted. Um, but even doing that, I wasn't able to go too far wrong just because of the physical limitation. The, the one thing that I did notice when I don't eat properly or, you know, if I'm eating too much or um, eating the wrong 
um, sort of things like too much carb and that sort of stuff, that my sleeve gets very noisy. Uh, and uh, I don't know, maybe there's a new syndrome we can come up with, noisy sleeve syndrome or something. And because uh, I'd be lying there and my sleeve would be growling at me, be going, oh, carrying on. <laughs> and I'd, there's no hiding that. And you lie, I'd lie down and I'd be hearing all these weird noises coming out. It sounded like there was an alien in there trying to get out. Um, but um, yeah, but if I'm doing the right thing, I don't seem to have those, those issues. The main things are uh, eat sensible quantities, eat good quality food, chew your food well, don't drink while you're eating, all of those sort of things. Like if you do those even without having surgery, that's going to be helpful. But when you have the surgery, you're motivated to do that just for your own, um, I suppose, comfort. And um, so it really helps you to stay on track that way, which I think is a, is a bonus, um, really good. Um, yeah, so I'm very, very happy with that. Um, so a lot of people over in the States, they've just had Thanksgiving over there and uh, I hope you all had a, a lovely Thanksgiving. It sounds like a good time. Lots of turkeys dying um, for the cause. Um, you know, good on the turkeys. Uh, I don't mind a bit of turkey, but for us, turkey's a Christmas thing. We do in Australia. We don't have Thanksgiving. We don't. We don't um, give thanks. That's that sounds really. Bad. <laughs> that sounds terrible, doesn't it? We're not thankful here. We just expect everything. No, that, that's not true. I'm very thankful. I think Australia is the best country in the in the world. I'm sorry for those poor people over there. You know in the Arctic Circle, no such issues. It's a beautiful day, 25 degrees here, sitting out in the backyard, enjoying the sun. You know, have, a, have a look at this, this is, this is just beautiful out here. See, I've got my pool and the backyard, typical suburban spot there. There's my nice little garden in the background there. Just turn around, show you all a little bit. Here we go, I better sit back down. So, um, no, it's beautiful, beautiful here. So, Yes, I'm thankful for what we've got, but um, we don't do Thanksgiving. It's just not a, a, a tradition or a holiday that we that we have here in Australia. But it sounds really good. Um, I saw a couple of people that were beating themselves up a little bit about eating the wrong things and being really disappointed with themselves. Well, um, I, I guess we've got to be realistic that after having this surgery. Um, this is for the rest of our lives. Um, it is a permanent um, solution. Solution, or I don't know, if solution is the right word because it's not a total solution. It's it's a it's a tool. It's a tool in the tool belt. It's something that helps you, that assists you with weight loss. It's something that gives you uh, little reminders and uh, and helps you to stay on track a bit. Um, I, I guess. As a word of encouragement to those that that were beating themselves up for um, eating the wrong thing, you heard from me that I've been doing the wrong thing. Um, I think the message is forgive yourself. You know, um, thank the sleeve that you're not able to go way overboard like you used to. Um, you know, if I think about the sort of calories that I would have consumed during a a low period, or for those of you over there uh, with Thanksgiving, we might have had like four or five plates worth of turkey and pumpkin pie and pecan pie and whatever else it is that you have over there. Um, you might have gone for, for lots and lots of serves of that and, um, you know, maybe done thousands of calories, I don't know, previously. After you had the sleeve, that's limited. You're only going to be able to manage one plate um, and you wouldn't want to stack that plate too much because you won't cope. Um, so, you know, yep, you might have overeaten. You might have done more than what the plan says, but you've gone way under what you would have done before. So I reckon that's another thing to be thankful for, thankful for the sleeve, for limiting those calories that, so that you didn't stuff up as bad as you did before. Um, so forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and love yourself. I've been looking for a good tan tagline. That's a good one, isn't it? Forgive yourself, love yourself. I might leave it with that. Forgive yourself, love yourself. Cheers. <laughs>